I mean, the goal is definitely a PFL championship and to win a playoff game. But <clears throat> with that being said, um, you know, as our leaders try to preach to the team is take it one game at a time. Jack, ever since he's been here, has been one of those young men that you can count it on him in any area, whether it's on the football field, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's being at the place that he needs to be on time, being dependable, all those attributes is what shows you uh, Jack Crane's character. And uh, I think a great example is that he's already graduated and he's working on his MBA right now. A defensive effort for the Flyers, Jack Crane leading the way. Takes it with two on the play clock, looking to throw. Pumps, he fires, and go, intercepted. Go. Come on, intercepted by Jack Crane. Come on, get at the 10, five, five. touchdown. Yes, sir. So I actually looked at the school if I wasn't going to play football. Um, a lot of people from my high school ended up coming here. Um, Dayton actually came decently late in the process in terms of recruiting for me. And since I already looked at the school just to go to school, and then the football aspect, I mean, it was a no-brainer after that. You know, our football program is one of the best models of intercollegiate athletics out there. The young men in our football program are unbelievably successful academically. They're successful on the football field, and they're all so very successful socially. We recruited Jack out of Chicago uh, five years now. And boy, time flies, doesn't it, uh, five years ago. And I can still remember watching Jack's film. I was the linebacker coach at that time, and I uh, only had to watch a few plays to know that this young man enjoyed playing linebacker. He was a hitter. He was smart on the football field, had that football sense. And so we brought him in on the visit so I could meet this young man. And just after a few moments of sitting down with Jack, you could tell, tell this was a young man who was serious about whatever he got involved with. Again, I refer back to his academics. He was outstanding coming out of high school and his, uh, and his play on the football field. Because he is serious about it, it's not just something to do for Jack. He wants to do it at the best level that he can. So the first time I sat on campus, I fell in love with the place, um, the people, um, the team vibe. It's really a place where you feel welcome the second you come in. It's a brotherhood, um, so I really like that. And then the great football tradition along with the academics is what really made me come here. 46 seconds left to play. It's 25-23. Dayton in front. Southeast Missouri is going to go for two in the top. Rolling that way, Hoskett rolling, 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 stops, looks, throws, it's broken up, it was intercepted, Jack Crane intercepted, Jack Crane with the interception to seal a date win. I was out on coverage the previous play, um, man to man on that guy, and I was a little outside, he had a little bit more speed than me, but uh, tried to play through his hands, uh, wasn't able to knock the ball out of the way, and so they scored a touchdown. You know, I was pretty down on myself, but I just thought there's one more play to win the game, so I got to make a play. Um, so the quarterback's rolling out to the right. Um, I thought he was actually going to keep the ball and run in the end zone, but <clears throat> kept my eyes on him the whole time and was able to find the receiver he was looking at and came in at the last second to pick the ball. What I saw in that play was a young man that studied and listened to the scouting report and also uh, practices hard during the week here. He was well prepared and, and it was a great move by our coordinator Landon Fox to call timeout right before that play, seeing the formation. And I could, I, I could uh, tell and know that Jack's mind was going then. He, he was thinking about what to do and then I really think part of it just came on instinct. Uh, as he saw the quarterback rolling out, he was watching him as he was going down through his drop, his progression, and then when he saw the ball being thrown, he broke on the ball. So I thought it summed up all about Jack. Mentally being prepared, having those instincts on the field, and then coming up with the plan. So the end goal is to get my CPA and then hopefully work up the ladder in a CPA firm or maybe if I don't like that, um, you know, move to the private side. So starting next semester I'm trying to get two of my CPAs out of the way and then in the summer I'll try to knock out the other two and then move on from there.